All right, this is grade two, module three, uh, lesson six. And in this lesson, we're gonna be taking our standard numbers written in base 10 form and then writing them in expanded form. This is a form that many of us uh, probably experienced ourselves as students many years ago. So this is not particularly new to the Common Core standard. So let's get started on this. So our task here is to look at these numbers written in word form and match them with the numbers form over here. And what I would do is probably start with, you know, allow students the opportunity or the choice to use a place value chart like right here, um, and then look at the number and read the word form and place it into the place value chart. And that's going to help us um, recognize the number form. For example, this 200 30. So 200 means we've got 2 in the hundreds. 30 means we have 3 in the tens because that's 10, 20, 30. And we have nothing in the ones. So we're going to leave a put in a zero. So our connection for 230, where does that go to? That goes way down to here. All right, let's do just one more so you get the idea. Let's see. Um, let's do 519. Now, this is going to be actually a tricky one, huh? Uh, so 500 means we're going to have 5 in the hundreds column. And then 19, we want students to recognize that 19 is a 10 plus a 9. And they've learned that in prior grades decomposition like in first grade, the 10 and some ones left over. So the 19 means we have one 10 and nine ones left over. So that's one in the tens column, nine in the ones left over. And so our number form for 519 is right here, 519. So the idea is read the words, place them in your place value chart over here, and that's going to help you recognize the number form. So here it says write the answer in number form. So it might be help, and I'm going to do a shortcut for parents and teachers. I would not do this with my students. I'm just going to write ones, tens, and hundreds like this. I'm not going to write the word form of it. And the idea would be, uh, let's take a look at this number. Let's do this one right here. And we can see that we have two in the hundreds column. So that's 200. So I'm going to put 2 right here in the hundreds. And then I can see, oh, look look at that right here. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40. So we have 40. Uh, and so that means we have 4 in the tens column. And then it's a little unfortunate that they use the number 4 again because we have 4 in the ones column. And so if we wanted to write this in number form, we would have 244. And, oh, let's do one last one. Oh, let's look at this guy way down here. So we have 900 plus 76. So the idea would be we have 900s. There's my connection there, the 900s. And then the 76, a couple ways to think of it. We could think of 76 as 70 plus 6, which means we have seven tens and six ones left over. And some students might look at the 76 and see the 76 right here. That's a nice little shortcut, but we do want them to know why. It's because 76 can be decomposed to 70 and 6. And really, if we wanted to, we can even further decompose that 70 to be 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. And so that means we have seven tens, and that's what this is, seven tens. We have nine hundreds, six ones. So the proper form, the number form, is 976. And the last problem for this video, the last slide for this video, is write each number in expanded form. So now we're kind of doing the reverse. So the idea would be to think of 533, and I'm going to 
put it in a place value chart again. And again, I'm going to write the shortcut. Ones, tens, hundreds. Teachers, you would please, 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 please write out the word form at this point. But we have five hundreds. So if we wanted to, we could do one, two, three, four, five like that. We have three tens, so one, two, three, and we have three ones, one, two, three. And if we wanted to kind of get it into expanded form, we could say, well, we have five hundreds, we have three tens, and we have three ones, so five hundreds. So that means we have five hundred plus, we have three tens, so that's thirty. And we have three ones, so that's plus three. And ideally, students are going to begin to see that place value connection. And let's go straight down to 460. That means we're going to have 400 plus 60. Now, if they wanted to, they could say plus zero ones. All right. And similarly, 801 would be 800. And now we're going to say plus one. If they wanted to, they could acknowledge this zero by saying 800 plus zero plus one, and that would be okay, but really I think this is the answer we're looking for. And that wraps up grade two, module three, lesson six, where we're taking basic, regular old numbers and we're writing them in expanded form.